People are freaking out after Congresswoman Maxine Waters made the black community a bizarre promise about the 2020 presidential election. You don't want to miss this. It is really bad. Just when you thought the loose cannon congresswoman from California couldn't get any more outrageous with her ridiculous behavior, Maxine Waters, DCA, has done it again. Waters appeared at the Intergenerational Summit in Selma, Alabama, on Saturday, March 3, 2018, where she told a room full of civil rights activists that she would push for reparations if Democrats successfully took over Congress and or the White House in 2020. The footage was captured while Waters spoke during a panel discussion being hosted by CNN commentator Angela Rye. Waters' speech wasn't about civil rights, but rather, it was littered with cheap references to justice and equality, neither of which Waters is familiar with. It's important personally for me because I get rejuvenated and I get inspired just being in this historical setting, Waters said. Having all the people who come from all over the country who are not only recognizing the contributions that have been made for justice, peace, and equality and walk across that bridge is more than inspiring. It is the kind of thing that enables me to go back to Washington DC, and do the kind of fighting and struggle that I have to do for the least of these. It didn't take long for Waters to resort to bashing President Donald Trump in an attempt to make him look like a racist. This is an unusual time in the history of this country, Waters said. Now, we have a president, someone that's at the head of our government who is the most least deserving human being that's ever served in that office and he's stoking racism, discrimination and he's dividing this country. I think that people are feeling a bit uneasy wanting some change, wanting something to happen and I hear that as I come here to Selma. You would have to be a complete idiot to draw any kind of linear pattern or reason out of Waters' speech. She constantly sets up imaginary threats with her words and then poses herself as the heroine. The cheeseball factor is almost unbearable. But, it only got worse. According to the American thinker, Waters made reference to a run at the presidency in 2020 during the panel discussion. Speaking of Trump she said, he's a bully, he has a bully mentality. We need someone in the presidency who not only has good sense but understands diplomacy and understands what we need to do to have peace in this world so that we can all look forward to the possibility that we're someday, we're someday going to have a world that's about peace and justice and respect for individual liberty. In response to Waters' statement about 2020, Rye asked, Is that your stump speech for 2020, is she running? Is she running? Waters didn't immediately answer, but her response to an attendee, who challenged Waters to push for reparations and take up a bill that John Conyers had sponsored in this house in previous sessions, was telling. Waters replied, I'd be happy to do that. That's no problem. Waters continued, in order to get where we need to go on this issue and other issues. We really got to understand that 2018 is important in taking back the House and taking back the Senate. Waters went on to make a bold promise to the black community, saying, if we want to get to the point where we can get reparations, we've got to have the power to do that, number one, by having a supportive president would be wonderful, but taking back the House would be absolutely wonderful. She then added, I need to take back that house so that we can have a majority in that committee. 
Maxine Waters needs a serious reality check if she truly thinks that she has a remote chance of winning the presidential election in 2020. In addition, Waters is insane for perpetuating the idea of reparations to blacks in America for slavery. It's common sense that anyone who benefited or suffered because of slavery died long ago. The idea of reparations is nothing more than an excuse for people to look for another handout. Maxine Waters needs to step down and apologize for her disgusting race-hustling behavior. It's people like her that diminish the work done by actual civil rights leaders of the past. But, let this be a reminder to us that we can't let those who wish to divide us by race continue to rule in Washington, d. c. It's time to send the party of division packing for good.